Johnny Tears. What's cracking, Muddy Boilers? My name is Bunny Tears. Welcome to yet another Grand Theft Auto 5 commentary, this time entitled Leaving Your Legacy. Now, I know that's a very serious video title, and there's a lot that it could potentially mean. However, as you guys know, and as always, first thing is first. In this Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I will be taking my big ass truck driving down to the local tennis court, realizing that I don't know where the nearest tennis court is, I can't find my way up to it, and then moving on to a different tennis court, playing some tennis, losing a point because my controller disconnected, and then driving home again. So that is what you're watching. Let's chill out, watch that, enjoy the tennis, and I'll talk to you about leaving your legacy. So the reason I guess I'm doing this video is because I'm at an age now where I have to start doing shit in order to leave my legacy. As the famous street artist Banksy says, you die twice. You die once when your life ends and your heart stops, and you die a second time when your name is mentioned for the last time. So I guess what he was trying to say by that is that your life doesn't end when you die. Your legacy can help you to live on after death. If people are still talking about you for years and years after your death, even generations after your death, you can pretty much assume that you have been immortalized through your actions. Now, I'm older than a lot of my viewers are. I'm older than a lot of my YouTube friends are. So I have to kind of think about this kind of stuff seriously. Because a fact of life is that as you get older, time goes by a lot quicker. I mean, for example, a year going by when you're 15 years old is going to seem a lot longer than a year going by at my age. The reason for this is because it's all about perception. As you grow older, one year of your life when you're 15 is a 15th of your life. One year of your life when you're 30 is a 30th of your life. So it seems a lot smaller comparatively to how long you've lived. Remember when you were a kid and the years just took ages to go by. You were always waiting for a birthday. Well, trust me, when you hit my age, it gets a lot quicker, which kind of worries me a little bit. I still remember being 18 and it seems like yesterday. And now I'm 22 and I'm realizing, holy shit, that was four years ago? Okay, I I'm going to have to start to do some shit. Now, the reason that I'm actually bringing this video out, the specific reason at least, is because at the moment, like my previous commentary said, we live in well, not only an internet age, but we live in a technology age. There is a lot of opportunities to leave a legacy, even if it's just something tiny, even if it's just something that people would talk about or listen to or watch or look at for a year. That's still pretty good considering how easy it would be to actually leave such a legacy. So I'm going to give you an example of this, okay? When you were a kid, or more accurately, when I was a kid, not everyone had cameras, so there are a few baby pictures of me around. Just a few. I'd say 10 to 20 max. Now, these days, if you have a child, cameras are so readily available that you can have hundreds, even thousands of pictures of your children today. So it makes me wonder how it's going to be for these people when they are fully grown up to be able to look back on their life and essentially, like Facebook says, have a timeline of their life. Because I guarantee there's going to be pictures of them at every single age that they are in their life. In the same sort of way, technology also allows us to do certain things that we were not able to do in the past at all. For example, back in the day when I was a kid, Famous music artists could record music. That was it. There was no music software available that you could buy and then use to create your own songs. But now there is. So for you guys who are younger and you guys who are thinking about what to do to leave your legacy, start off very small, okay? For example, look at what I'm doing right now. I'm talking to you guys in a YouTube video. Now, heaven forbid, if I were to die tomorrow, you would all still be able to go back, watch my YouTube videos, and I would essentially kind of live on through the content that I have created. You can, you can seriously just make one song, even if you're not singing in it, even if you're just making some, some little easy catchy tune. 
there will be a part of you within that song which can live on after you die. Now, obviously, I'm not trying to suggest that you're going to be dying soon, but it's never too early to start your legacy. A lot of people think that leaving your legacy is just basically doing something like starting a company and then that company would live on. Y yes, that's a very good thing to do. You could start a company and if it's successful enough, for example, like Bill Gates, if Bill Gates died today, Windows and Microsoft and everything like that would live on through maybe his children or through his board of directors, but it would continue to live on, just like Stephen Jobs with Apple. Stephen Jobs has died, but his memory lives on because of the success that he had in his company. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, okay, you guys are still young. All of the guys, at least, that I've spoken to who watch my videos, you're still very young. And you probably haven't realized it yet. Or you, maybe you think you've realized it, but trust me, you haven't. You need to start doing something now. Because you're at an age where if you start practicing something, or you start doing something in your spare time now, you could literally be a professional in that in a few years' time. I'm still at an age where I could do that. If I decided today, hey, I want to be a gymnast, I could essentially, in four years' time, be a very, very, very good gymnast, and that could be a way that I try to live on and leave my legacy, by being the best gymnast there is. Now, I think it's a bit easier for me because I've been into music since I was about eight years old. So it's easier for me because I can kind of record these songs and just just for a bit of fun. Like, obviously, it's not too serious. They're not the best songs in the world. And I've got another song coming out. But I like doing it. And once I have done it, I tend to just give out this song, these songs for free so that everyone has a copy. Just because I feel like I'm giving a part of myself to these people. And it's a good way to leave a legacy. Because as everybody knows, if a famous music artist dies their music becomes very, 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 very popular. It sells a shitload. For example, if you looked at Michael Jackson when he died, out of the top 10, like, music hits of that week, like, eight of them were Michael Jackson songs. Michael Jackson had eight top 10 singles right after he died. There's a reason for this. It's because people don't want to let go. As soon as people hear that someone has passed on, if that person has left any form of legacy, then humans will just be drawn to that. They will want a piece of it because they want a piece of that person who has passed on to remember him by. That is essentially what a legacy is. It's just something that people can remember you by. Now, if you're not making sure that there's plenty of shit around for people to remember you by, and I'm not talking about stuff like pictures on Facebook because everyone has that. I'm talking more about something unique, something you like to do, and something that you can give out to people and basically say, here you are, now it's readily available, if anything should happen, even, even if I die at 80 years old, that will still be there, people will listen to this music, people will watch one of my videos and they will laugh, and they'll say, oh I remember back in the day when he was so full of energy, now he was some old 80 year old fart, but hey, at least they'll be looking back on you. So. If all else fails, do something small. Leave some form of legacy. Heck, send it to me. I'll start a legacy database. And you can essentially work towards making sure that your name is never forgotten and your second life after you die is a very long one. So guys, you're still young. You can still do it. You can be anything you want to be. Go out there. Do it. Let me know if you've done it, and I'll actually be interested to hear your stories, okay? Because I'm trying to leave my legacy through YouTube. It's going very well so far. I'm having a great time. And although, yes, it's possible for, for us to have had more subscribers and more views, but really, I'm happy with what we've got. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I love you all too much. Leave your legacy. Buddy, our bitches. What's cracking, Bunny Bullies? My name is Bunny Tears.